Welcome to Tech Learning. Today we are diving into a much discussed topic in the industrial and IT world. Ethernet versus Profinet. What are they? How are they are different? And most importantly, which one is right for your project? Let's find out. Let's start with Ethernet. Ethernet is the backbone of modern wired communication. It's the standard protocol for connecting devices in local area networks or LANs. Think about your office computers, printers, and even gaming consoles at home, they all likely use Ethernet. Ethernet is fast, versatile, and handles a lot of data. It's used for tasks like data transmission, internet browsing, file sharing, and streaming. But Ethernet is not designed for real-time precision. That's where Profinet comes in. Profinet is specialized communication protocol, built on Ethernet, it designed for industrial automation and process control. Profinet is designed for factory automation, machinery control, and industrial equipment. Ethernet, is general purpose communication with no deterministic behavior. It is suitable for heavy data, non-time sensitive tasks, like file transfers, and web browsing applications. While the Profinet is a communication protocol specifically designed for industrial automation. It is built on Ethernet, but optimized for controlling machinery, sensors, and actuators in real time. Let's break down the key differences between Ethernet and Profinet. Purpose Ethernet used for general communication, while the Profinet is used for industrial automation. Real time Ethernet has no real time capabilities, while Profinet provides the real time communication. Environment. Ethernet is suitable for office or IT infrastructure while the Profinet is suitable for harsh industrial environments. Durability. Ethernet provides standard durability while the Profinet is rugged for industrial use. Latency. Latency of Ethernet can be variable while the latency of Profinet is low and predictable. We hope this video helped you to clarify the differences between Profinet and Ethernet. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos on instrumentation, electrical engineering, and automation.